Hey guys, Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner, here at the Hot Sun booth, SHOT Show 2020. I'm really excited about some of the stuff they've got on the wall right over here. And I got my man Cecil right here. He's gonna tell me about all the cool stuff. So Cecil, what's up, dude? Hey, good seeing you, Ben. Good been to a while? see you, been yeah. a while. So yeah, we got some great new stuff this year. Um, we'll start off with the big and the bad, We're right up here at top. Work our way on down, works yep. good for me. Right here we have the Hot Sun Pile Driver. Um, and it's named the pile driver for a reason because it will drive anything into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this, some of the maybe Instagram posts or whatever, but this thing is putting some hurting down. Tell us a little bit more about what you've seen this do, Cecil. Okay, so this one here in 50 cal is putting out over 800 foot pounds of energy. And in 45 cal, it's putting over 700 foot pounds of energy. That's impressive. Um, and I have taken three deer with this, so I can attest to the fact that the 45 three. will put put them down. <laughs> um, there's a video out there, and you can see the one doe I shot. It literally flipped it over backwards. Awesome. So that was pretty. That was pretty awesome. I was really surprised. But, Super awesome. Um, so tell I us mean, about functionality. How does this work? Tell okay, so the power driver uses a side lever action, so it's easy to cock. Um, this one here does not have a hammer spring in it. Okay. okay. Um, for the right. show. Right. Um, but it is. It is the cocking action is very easy. Cool. Um, it has a 34 millimeter loading port, so 34 okay. millimeters long, so it'll accept up up to and above 700 grain slugs. That's enough. And that's where you're getting that uh, 800 foot pounds yeah. plus foot pounds. But um, where like, do you think it's happy sort of uh, playing ground? Is? Really, in the 50 cal, you're looking at around a 400-ish grain. Okay, okay. Somewhere in that for hunting. Okay. Um, and and for best accuracy, uh, cool. max power is going to be you know that big heavy Absolutely. slug. And I mean, if you're close range hunting like hogs out to like maybe 50 yards, then yeah, go with that big heavy slug. Sure, sure. But if you're planning on shooting a deer a little bit further out, take the weight down a little bit, give okay. you a hollow point little bit better trajectory a little bit better velocity, trajectory sort of and stuff. also your um your your increased your accuracy will increase a little bit okay and your um effectiveness of your round can um I, if it's I see it? yeah if it's too big or too heavy of a round you know you're just going to get a clean pass through no expansion right and uh i mean you'll still you'll still take the game but it may not be as a, a quick kill is if you got right. a little bit of expansion. Right. We were talking about that the other day. We won't talk about it too much, but hey, there is a little bit of a science and some philosophies that go behind picking just the right ammo for what you want to do with the gun. So, you know, don't just get it and try to throw any slug you got in there. Definitely do your research and kind of know what you're trying to do and pick the right ammo for what you want to what you want to accomplish. Exactly. Yeah. Do your research. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of ammo out there. This is a 510 bore barrel. So it's just like the other 50 cals out there. They're all the same. Um, and uh, the 45 is a 457, just like all the other 45s pretty much out there. So ammo is plentiful. Shouldn't um, have a lots of options. Plenty exactly. of options, exactly. Very cool. So, so this is, it's not, uh, it's not trying to be quiet at all. No, this one is not <laughs> trying to be quiet at all. I mean, this is all about big power, big taking power. big game. Um, I have done worked with uh, uh, Donnie FL, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, he's got a uh, adapter and a moderator ready to go okay. for this so gun if you when it comes out. Did want to make it quiet? You could. Right, and but when I was hunting with it, I was using a Donnie FL Emperor. Okay, okay. So, cool. Well, that's really cool. I think you guys, for the amount of smack this is putting down, it's it's not as heavy as I anticipate it being. So that's kind of cool to see. And I like the, the stock, it's really comfortable stock, that thumbnail stock. Exactly, it's super ergonomic, it's adjustable. Um, the butt pad is a nice soft butt pad because it does have some recoil. Yep, um, yep. It's elevation adjustable and angle. So left, right angle on the Very butt pad cool. is adjustable and you have an adjustable cheek riser. So it has a lot of adjustability. You're, it's a very comfortable gun. Yeah. So um, it, it's a great gun to have out in the field. It's got, you know, the features it needs. It Carbon does, fiber bottle. Yeah, it does tactical. fill the 300 bar. Okay. Um, so it has a little bit higher fill pressure than most things, most of the other guns out there, but it takes advantage of that, giving you that five shots in 50 cal. Five shots. Seven, six to seven shots in 45 cal. Very cool. Well, there you have it, guys. That's it for the pile driver. Uh, you know, we'll hopefully be bringing you guys some more detailed stuff on this, but right now this thing is looking pretty awesome. 
45 cal, 50 cal, serious smacking hunting rifle. What's next on the list here? All right, so moving on down the wall here as we normally do. Now you go from serious business to just plain fun, all right? There you go. So we, we've kind of, you know, dominated the whole semi-auto pellet gun high power sure, market sure. for the last yeah. few years. I mean, we were the first ones to really come out with a real power, hunting power semi-auto. There you go. Um, the next step, full auto, of course. There you go. So we've got the Hot Sun Blitz. And that this is a select fire. Is looking pretty legit, man. Oh, yes. It's lightweight, select fire. You have a 580cc carbon fiber bottle that fills to 250 bar. Cool. So you're going to get four magazines out of it. It'll four be available mags. in shooting full auto. You can get some semi-auto shots in after that, okay, but okay. full auto, it'll dump four mags. That's awesome. Um, and it's 22, 25, or 30 caliber, um, 50 foot-pounds of energy in 30 caliber, and your 16 rounds 16 in the 30 cal pounds. mag. 30 cal mag. It dumps it in about 0.6 seconds. I was going to say, that's not going to last very long in full auto, but no. whoa, what fun. Uh, right. I'm sure that JSB and H&N will be really glad we came out with this Yeah, gun. I was going to say, so. your best, your new best friend in the pellet company. Exactly. There you go. They just, they're like, yes, thank you, hot sun. <laughs> so guys, a cool thing about this right here is that it does have the ability to run open sights that comes with the gun, right? Yes, it does. Very or cool. Or you can remove it and put an optic on it if you like. It's got the rail there for mounting your normal scope, red dot, whatever you think might be. Yeah, our, our typical combo this. rail. So you can put weaver or um, weaver or, or dovetail, dovetail. Yep. on it. So. And you got the, the more fun button, of exactly. course. Exactly, yep. And again, the nice thumb hole stock, super comfortable, you guys. And Gosh, what a hoot that would be. I, uh, just even shooting open sights, I bet it's a blast, man. Oh, it is. But it throw is. a scope on it or a red dot, and then you've got something like you could take to your silhouette shooting competitions, have a couple of mags loaded up, and this would be like, you'd be ready to go. This year at EBR, I saw some pretty impressive speed silhouette shooting, and you know what? This was not out in time for that, but... No. Uh, I think that something like this going back next year would be a serious contender and something like that and would give, you know, maybe semi and full auto doesn't have a real purpose for hunting, right? But for comp competitive shooting like that and just plain having a blast, this is where it's at. Well, semi auto, that definitely has a purpose for hunting. The full auto, not so much. Not so much. But you're talking 50 foot pounds and 30 cal, so that right. is coyote hunting. Energy oh, yeah, right for there. sure. And it, it, this is not only fast shooting, it's accurate. Absolutely, absolutely. So. Tell me about what you've got going on with the Invader, Cecil. The Hotson Invader is a lightweight synthetic chassis semi-auto. So this one here is just semi-auto. Just semi. We're only okay. going to bring it out in 22 and 25. Okay. Um, the 177 semi-autos just really don't resonate with people, so we're just doing 22 and 25. Sure, okay. Um, it has an adjustable cheek rest. Uh, magazine storage in the stock. Ooh, very cool. Um, it uses our S Roto or our um, our Roto Index, the aluminum mags. Either okay. one. Okay. Um, manual safety, of course, semi-auto. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Has the same rail as the Blitz. Very so cool. you have open sights. Open sights once again. That's super cool. So it gives you the option to that semi-auto. It has a removable air cylinder. Uses the same air cylinder as our Galatian Tact Auto. Okay, very cool. So, um, and we do have those available, extra cylinders if you want them, you know, you For can those long hunts, them. long days at the range, get some extra cylinders right yep. there. Or, you know, you can get your, your Hot Sun Pony Bottle, 1.6 liter Pony Bottle, and uh, fill it out there if you want to. Very um, cool. This one here is gonna come in at a very competitive price point right around that sub six, uh, between five and six hundred dollar price point for Ooh, a semi-auto, wow. semi 22 or 25 cal with, the, and this one here go, is in at just over six pounds. Wow, what so, kind of feel? Oh my gosh, you guys, that's really nice. It's got just the right amount of weight. You know, you don't want it to feel like a toy. This feels like you're holding something substantial, but it is, it's light enough you could, definitely sling it and take it on a long hike and not be regretting it. And with the polymer um, chassis and everything, it's all weather. 
so very, cool. very good for like out in the squirrel woods or yeah. out hunting rabbits you know up in the snow in williams or something you know yes yes rugged so. rugged that's what i've been desiring all air guns to be is rugged the last thing you want is to be worrying about you know out in the field if you're gonna break something scratch something bend something lose a part have something like that happen exactly this is rugged you guys so the semi-auto action here, 22 and 25 cal. What sort of power are we expecting out of this? Um, this one here, you're, let's see, what were we at? We're at 38 foot-pounds of energy in that. So it, it's that good squirrel, rabbit. Yeah. Okay. Um, I wouldn't go much over that. Maybe yeah. maybe a raccoon. But... Maybe a raccoon, sure. But you know what? This is a small game hunter all day, you guys. And how many shots is it doing? Oh, geez, you're getting, uh, I believe it's 30, 40 shots out of it. Nice. With that nice big air um, cylinder, 30, 40 shots, semi-auto, plenty of power for small game hunting, and lightweight, adjustable stock, magazine storage. I mean, gosh, you guys, the list goes on. And on top of that, whoa, look at that. That is cool looking. We got the tactical rails. I mean, trick this thing out and go and have some fun with it. That is really awesome. Oh, you yeah. guys, it doesn't stop there. It doesn't nope. even stop there. See, Cecil, so what else are we bringing to the table this year? Well, um, pretty much everybody's got their own flavor of this gun here this year, it seems like. Yeah, um, yes, I've seen a couple our, of them. Yeah, this one here is the Harpoon. The so what's, on Harpoon. What, what did you guys have to do to like just make a splash with your arrow gun? This one here is pushing a 385 grain, 20 inch crossbow bolt at 580 feet per second. <laughs> what? 500 and what? 80. 580 feet per second. Did you guys hear that? Yep. So I know that, uh, you know, foot pounds don't really matter per se with arrows because you're more worried about wound channel getting the damage, but right. calculate and that out. What sort of foot pounds are we talking about with the arrow? Uh, 300 to 310 foot pounds. That's that's impressive, you guys. That is some serious smack. Got the yep. arrow storage on the side. Yes, you've got clip-in arrow storage on the sides. Is it um, regulated? It is not regulated. Not regulated. No. So how many shots? Um, you're going to get 20 to 26 shots. And are they, what sort of range are you shooting Pretty at? consistent. Um, you're um, out to 100 yards. Okay, okay. Um, easily out to 100 yards because sure. you got that high velocity. Yeah. It'll stabilize nice out that distance. Yeah, So very um, cool. Once you get down to that shot number 26-ish, right, then, then you start to notice. Then you're going to start to notice the drop. Right. Okay. Um, okay. The nice thing is it's got a nice balanced valve in it, so it's really consistent, even okay. though it's not regulated. Very cool. Good to know. Side um, lever action. Side lever action. Pretty cool. And somebody had actually already cocked this, but. Okay, so that one does have the spring in it. Yes, this how's, one does. How's the? Is it fairly stiff or is this it? is this is comparable to the pile driver? Let me feel. Okay, so you do, I mean, you have to be it, intentional about it. You have to be but, intentional, but it's not difficult to charge. Yeah, exactly, and this is not something There's that you're no going to be struggle. sitting there going like this no. with. You're going to load an arrow, be very calculative, and take your shot. Right, yeah, you're going to load an arrow, cock it, it's charge it. It's not heavy either. Let me feel that again. Like five pounds? Um, it's a little that? heavier than that. I okay, think it's around six. seven. Oh, really? Okay. Um, yeah, with the aluminum bottle on it. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's got the 500 cc aluminum bottle with okay. the uh, 250 bar fill. Okay. So um, it Very comes cool. with the flip up fiber optic sights. Um, we just threw a red dot on it for the yeah. show. This really is it, but this is sort of like, wow, the icing on the cake. What is the Hydra, Cecil? The Hydra, you know, the mythical beast, the mini headed dragon. That's kind of what we came down to for a, or not a dragon, but a mini, mythical mini headed beast. Um, so what we did is we took and took basically our flash platform and made it a multi-caliber platform. Okay. Um, but of course, you know, we had to take our own take on it. So sure. what we did. Oh, look at this, you guys. Was the upper receiver and your optics mount is connected to the barrel and the shroud. So when oh, you swap cool. out your caliber, your optics are already zero. So you don't have to re-zero when you change your barrel when you change out calibers. Okay, so what you're telling me is that if I've got like a bunch of scopes, which I do, I could I could mount them and leave them attached. Exactly. Take this off, switch calibers. It's already sighted, shoot it. Don't have to do anything, switch this back. It's already sighted and shoot it. I'm good to go, right? Right, and uh, the only time you'd have to re-zero or, 
or change your um, your scope is if you change pellets. That is really cool, you guys. There might be other air guns that let you change calibers, but they have the hassle of resighting all of that. So this, if you guys have scopes, man, this is an awesome thing to do. Even if maybe you didn't have a, a bunch of scopes, if you had a couple of scopes, you could still appreciate the benefit and maybe you're gonna buy more scopes. Exactly. We all are gonna buy more scopes. So with this, you've got all the added flexibility of down the road, you can do more with it. And heck, if all you're gonna do is change calibers, even just doing that is cool. How many shots does it really take to sight in a PCP? Oh, just a few. A couple of shots, yeah. right? So this isn't just for people that have more than one optic. This is for people that wanna have one gun and be able to shoot lots of different calibers, but it doesn't only shoot pellets does it right is, no, is there something else we, that we can do with this we decided that you know maybe just shooting pellets wasn't quite enough yeah, you know different boring. calibers uh, who wants to only shoot pellets exactly so we brought in the arrow upper so it hooks on just like all the 177 22 25 cal barrels very cool um the arrow, I mean, it's very similar to the um, harpoon mm -hmm. in form and function. It has sure. the arrow, yeah, um, the arrow holders, the same shroud, same barrel, same length barrel. Um, you're going to get a little bit less power because right. it's only a 200 bar fill. It's a smaller right. um, air cylinder. So you're looking at about 220 to 230 feet per second okay. with the same okay. arrow. Okay. Um, but that's still, I mean, you look at it this way, you've got... Um, that's still competitive with what a lot of just like uh, recurve crossbows would be. Right, exactly. You know? So, And you're, you're looking at, okay, you take your 177 barrel, put it on, you go out first thing in the morning and shoot pigeons off the, you know, off the dairy farm or sure. whatever. Then you throw the 22 barrel on, go shoot a couple of rabbits. There you go. Then you go along, eat some rabbits or pigeons for lunch, go back out, throw your 25 cal barrel on, and shoot a couple of squirrels. There you While have you're it. waiting for sundown in the tree stand, then you throw your arrow barrel on and shoot you a deer. There you go, guys. All with the same gun. One gun can do all of that. That is really cool. And you know, it is not even like ugly or, or like beastly or unsightly in any way. This has got a beautiful wood stock. Like, no joke, you guys, this is gorgeous. Really, really comfortable. It seems super well made. Pretty bolt action. Beautiful Turkish walnut. Nice checkering. Raised cheek piece. Can I can I go ahead and yes. feel this? Okay. Is there? So, okay, there we go. Yeah, it's the same as flash flash wood, um, cocking really action. Nice. Adjustable trigger. Our quattro trigger. Yes. Safety's there. Yeah, guys, this is a beautiful air gun. Well, all right, guys, there you have it. Man, Hotson really bringing a bunch of cool stuff this year. This has been an exciting SHOT Show because there's been just a whole ton of cool new stuff to see. Oh yeah. And uh, Hot Son was definitely not disappointing and uh, brought one, two, three, four, five brand new amazing air guns. Really cool stuff. Thank you so much, Cecil. Thank you. All right, guys, that's it for this little video. Make sure you get subscribed so that you can see the rest of the cool coverage from SHOT Show 2020. This has been the Outdoors Air Gunner here with Shooting Your Reviews. See you guys.